And hello, this is Daniel from the People System Store, and we're here to bring safety to every home. And today it's going to be an Ajax starter kit, all sensors plug in and configuring with the Ajax app and a phone. Now it's only a starter kit setting, and it consists of the hub, a motion protect a door protect here and a little key pop sensors so the total amount of devices is four units and also stay tuned for updates on our channel for the other ajax sensors reviews and their setups we plan to make it too specifically in this video i'm just going to give you some advices and a step-to-step -step instruction of how to connect and unite it all this all in a full-fledged system and i want to make it as simple as possible for you So there's basically like nothing complicated about it. I mean, but there always are some like minor mistakes in mounting and choosing a spot along with configuring sensors inside the Ajax Systems phone app. And honestly, we've made a kind of a similar video for our Ukrainian channel and our clients say, well, this has prevented a lot of mistakes on their side when they were installing the systems. So and. We just decided to share this with everyone as it is so useful. Now let's get to the main part. And so, the hub. All right, I'm opening out the box. There you can see the hub itself and it's wrapping the user's manual. And, and yeah, and the, and the cable box. Right, and the sizer, though it's beautiful. Okay, so taking off the hub's wrapping. Yeah, there we go. I love this moment. And this looks gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's really it's, it's really a modern design. It, it looks cool. All right, well, and the, and the cables. Yeah, for sure. The power supply unit and the alien cable. Now, what we do next is we just flip it back side to us. And here's the panel. You gotta press it down and move it like to your direction. So, there we go. Here you can see some screws and dowels. There is a marking and here's the QR code you're gonna need in a future. And here you can see the RG4540 uh, alien connection and the power input along with the SIM card slot. As basically, just, we're, we're pretty much done with its contents. It's so simple. So, next thing I wanna show you is a door protect sensor so it has an additional magnet panel in its box some screws along with dowels and a tape uh, and that's like and that's an awesome tape actually because well if your door is made of metal and it's pretty problematic to drill it and specifically got our sensor well our uh, fastened on this tape like over a year now and it holds perfect. So the magnet panel here uh, Yeah, there is a piece of it in the panel here uh, is the cool and the system spark and the system produces a signal when this part uh, is Being disjunct and this time uh, and this little thing is used mostly for Windows mod on the back here There is a connectors Yeah mm -mm -mm. Come on stand up Hey, come on. All right, it's really hard to open it up and not damage the box because we will need it better for sure because we are in the store. Yeah. All right, I damaged, but doesn't matter. Okay, here is it. Yeah, you can see it through the user's manual. And that little magnet panel. It's like, yeah. And through the fastener kit, it consists of see, this connection unit and, and this little connection cable unit and these screws here. All right. Okay. And here's the way uh, you fasten it over the wall, here's the way you mount it. And I'll talk about the mounting and I'll give you some advices like 
when we'll get to setting this thing up in the, in the system, sure. All right, the motion protect. Well, what I can say about this one. Yeah, dowels, screws, communication unit, a tape, a user's manual, and well, the sensor itself. Open it and show you how it looks. And I really like the Ajax design. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Alright, it is to open up the box. Okay, so this is what it is. The motion project looks awesome, really futuristic, yeah? Isn't it? Yeah, sure, the user's manual, as I told you. And so uh, this, this specifically, well, back panel, it's kind of made this way to activate, oh, let's see, this, this corner, right? It's made to, like, to activate the tamper alarm. That's just basically. So you need a four screws, act, go, it's in the packaging, it's so just mounted, and there'll be a quick guide further about how to better mount it. Right, there we go. And the last one is a space control. Well, it's, <laughs> it's just simply the space control. It's just simply the quick guide for users with the buttons and what they need to do. Like, there is it. There's only four buttons. You can attach it to your keys. And yeah, everything is so simple. So now we do just ignite everything in a system starting from the main hub. There it is. So we have already plugged it in. You can see cables and we got the internet transmitted from our router in our case now we press and hold this button like two or three seconds there you can see the logo lights with red and after it discovers the internet connection it becomes green but we'll just wait until that happens like a 20 seconds probably so we next we just close the cover yeah and there you can see it, it lights with light green. It means it discovered the internet. And now what we do, we download the Ajax free app from the Google Play or the App Store and the next section. So I got the app installed and I signed up before and it, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be hard, it wouldn't be a trouble to because well, it looks the same as any other registration process in any service, although this one has a two-step verification that sends code both to your phone and your email in a message. And by the way, you can always set the app to ask a password every time you open, up, you open it up and you, or you don't do that. I mean, depends on your occasion, yes. So from the here, we press the add hub, add manually, naming it a hop simply i just don't want to complicate it i wouldn't get lost with the names and press this button scan the qr code and so you can turn the device back side and scan it here cut under the cover or you can take the box and scan it here as i do because it's synced there okay it's okay and note it's only possible if the hub is connected to the internet otherwise it just won't let you so now we go to add in a room stage. Yeah, and add in a room, naming it a studio because yeah, I told you I don't want to complicate it. And so, okay, here we go. So it can be a house, an apartment, like any occasion feels well. And don't forget to add a photo here. Well, see, so you won't get lost between the sensors or if you're managing a big territory. We we'll skip all the other, other parts for a clear simulation. And that was simply a fast start up and from this desktop here, uh, from this devices, there you can see a button, you can just add the devices. And I'm simulation the situation that you're like alone here now, as same as I do, without any other users add, and just leave it later, just really simple too. So we get to desktop, initially devices are being added from here, and we got a hub only now, you can see it here. And next thing we do is join a sensors. And so the second in line is a 
door protect sensor here and just a few words to begin with. I recommend to mount it on the upper side of the entrance door and well, be sure to fasten it on the opposite door hinge side. Now, because you see, if you walk properly, the sensor has to feel that space. This space between these two units that are located on the door bases one and the door itself second. And if they're mounted near the hinges, well, the sensor just wouldn't simply feel this distance, it would be real small, and you would wonder, like, why did that happen? Right, so now when united in the system, united with the hub. So I take the main panel, press add device, add device again, naming it door protect. Then scan the device ID, locate it on the back panel here. There we go. Picking a room, in my case, is a studio. And then OK. Next thing, we should pull off this here. Yeah, there we go. And slide the on button. There we go. And don't forget to pull this back, as important. And there we go. Door protect is connected. And here the way is it looks like. Now we are going here, arming the system. I want to show you the mechanism. And so armed by me. And if we do this, it gets open. You can see it here. And if you go here, it gets closed. So this is how the mechanism works itself. The same with this little little panel here. And like we got a lot of questions like what that night mode here is and what it does and the answer is well it's a very useful feature meaning when you turn it on the sensor blocks a closed position as it is right now and if the door will suddenly open you'll be instantly notified as well as your security service operator gets notified too and that can prevent some really bad outcomes. And well, the same works for a Windows in your home for which you can buy an additional sensors in the People System Store. And now the door protect settings. So you see I'm just entering it here into the device, pressing this button. And first off, activating this arm in the night mode function. So we're just ready to go because we have just confirmed the sensor activates in a night mode. And also you can set a delay here. You can see a button for opening or closing the door. And well, that is needed if you have a console located inside the building and so it takes time to open the door and get to the to get to that console and that's what this function does it simply delays activation until you are in it is comfortable and we're here and we're able to set such functions independently for each sensor that we connect and also don't forget to set a reminder notification so the ajax app would remind you to activate the sensor when you'll be leaving the premise the home house office anything and it's being set in settings here on the phone too and there's actually a button for the additional uh, little panel here the external contact you should turn it on before starting to use and work with it and we can also run a signal strange test here a zone test and this is being done to make sure the sensor is covered in the hops is it? User. and like I don't want to rant a lot about it. system settings we we'll better make a dedicated video for that and well let's let's just keep on setting the whole thing up all right oh the next is the motion protect sensor and so the first recommendation here is just don't mount it prone to the humans walking line and I'll just tell you why I mean, it should go like this, not like this. For a proper detection, be sure to check this. Because when someone walks directly to the sensor, the detection zone decreases to like 3 meters. And that's what a manufacturer and our customers say is better to be in a corner so it catches the movements. Well, like this, again, it's the people should be like this. And well, and we'll put the image here on the screen so you can see how the sensor works and how it sees the movement. And also, it's better to avoid installing in front of the window and the sun side. Just better keep it near the window, but not pointed to it. So we press down this back bracket, revealing a switch, and off and on off button, and again back to the phone. So add device, add device name motion 
Notion, scan and device ID. There is it. Picking a room, it's a studio for sure. Okay. And the next thing we do, we turn off, turn on, I mean, yeah. And heading to its settings. So there is it, there is it. Waiting just a few moments. Till it fully recognizes it. And here we go, we are ready. So there is a test, a single strange test, a detection zone test. And so you can see everything is here. It's as simple as possible. Sure, uh, always press this button, arm in the night mode. And well, everything's just that simple. So we are just about to go to the last part and that will be a little give up. So this little one here is a matter of dispute. A lot of who buys it with the whole system Someone does not, but decide by yourself. People divide it into a two camps and there are the ones who say like, why do I need the GitHub if I have a phone, if there is an app on it, it's 21st century, and someone say the phone could be charged in the most unsuitable moment or it's faster to use the GitHub instead of unlocking the phone and then unlocking the app and then, well, you got the idea, right? However, decide by yourself. Well, I'm pretty sure one key fob is necessary and it's enough for the whole family or the whole enterprise. And you can even install a keyboard. Now let's add it to the system. Ba getting back to phone, add device, add device again, naming it with fob and scan the QR. So we can push this out here or you can use the box. I'm choosing the box because it's, <laughs> it's easier to reach. Right, so here's the QR in the back of it. Choosing the studio room, and now I have to simultaneously push these two buttons the arm and the panic. There we go, we're pushing, and here we are. Our fob, our key fob is at it. Here we go, and a little reference to you. So, there's four buttons a circle button is to arm a system, a torn circle is to a disarm, a night mode or a particle alarm is a little torn circle inside of the full one. And the last one is the panic button. But decide for yourself to turn it on or not, because I know some companies and security operators charge for this function's use. And we're pretty much done. We've added all the sensors to a fully fledged system. And now let's arm it. So, I press the button. Here you can see on the form on the phone the arm sentence appeared or if the app was closed the notification would appear so all right let's imagine you have set an alarm close the app lock the phone as i did and just gone somewhere and my hand my left hand here is the thief i mean let it be so this is how it works hey ajax motion protect and there is the alarm activated now let's unset it, just press this button. We're pretty much done with the iJack starter kit. I believe you found out what you were looking for and if you'd like to get this, iJack sensors or any surveillance tech, but <laughs> sales tech out there, welcome to the People System store, we'd likely help you. Thank you for watching, we're for safety to every house. And also, the other iJack sensors will be reviewed too, so stay tuned for updates and as always, our subscribers get special deals and good offers if they say they're from Daniel when they'll get to the projects. Thank you.